is it? Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. The sun is shining and we are about to start the bedroom space. If you missed yesterday's video, we tackled doing some more upholstery in the camper space, which is really exciting because it meant that we were adding a little bit of color. So now we have a few tones of different colors in the camper. We have coral, green, rust, and lots of white. But that means that we have a little bit more white paint that we need to roll and get the bedroom space in tip top order so that we can add some color into that bedroom space. So we're going to get tackling those walls and Philip still has a few things he needs to get done in the bedroom space before we can actually get to adding any color. So we are going to do some work in that bedroom space today and see if we can start to bring our vision to life in that space now that some of the other areas are really coming to life. How much have you gotten off already? Just working on this bottom section. So much wallpaper. <laughs> like, it's like plastic though. Yeah, it's not paper. It's very glued on vinyl, right? Yeah. So Philip's so removing the wallpaper here so we can get to painting. We also have some sanding to do on that back wall behind him there because some of the wallpaper stuff was actually adhered on so much that it actually started ripping the wood off the wall. And then we also have a full bathroom space that's actually filled with wallpaper. As you can see, the bathroom has glamorous wallpaper. The problem is this vinyl paper that's on the wall will not come off. And so we are contemplating since we have some walls to put back up in the bathroom of actually just covering over it or removing the walls and putting new walls up because this is so tedious and it just does not want to come off. So while we're also in the bathroom space, I wanna know what color you think I should do the vanity on the lower half. We are going to be uh, restoring the bathroom tub will be white and the counters and sink will be white. So what color do you think I should do this bottom vanity? And then we're gonna start working on adding this bathroom and putting it back together so that we can actually get to painting and doing the detailing that I wanna put into this space. But I want your feedback. How many hours do you think you've spent just peeling wallpaper in the camper? What day is it? <laughs> oh, right. Um, I don't know. Like, too many, first off. That whole side wall was all wallpaper. That back part was all... It was all wallpapered. Um, how many hours do you think? I say you spend at least two hours a day for at least the first two weeks of owning the camper easily just removing wallpaper and then you've done several hours in between like lots of late nights in here yeah. because if you look at the camper right now pretty much everywhere on the walls where you see white paint was all wallpaper where we've stenciled there was all wallpaper underneath the window here that we're still working on all wallpaper uh there was actually wallpaper all behind here where we did our backsplash which we left some of that knowing it was going to be covered this whole area here was all wallpaper so yeah tons of wallpaper and it really is not that easy to get off because it's not paper so no liquid removers or anything we're going to loosen up that adhesive so the only thing that's worked has been a heat gun to basically melt the vinyl and the plastic to be able to get it off which and is it melts your fingertips it's not the easiest thing to do and it makes it really hot here even when some of these days we've wanted the extra heat <laughs> one of the things that we knew would make a huge impact would be to actually make the ceiling in the camper white so as you can see all of the light fixtures are still yellow frame those will all be white and or replaced but you can see what color the ceiling used to be so the white really brightens it up so you can see as we get over to the bedroom space half of the ceiling Ceiling is starting to be painted and the other half is still yellow it's pretty disgusting <laughs> and adding that white paint to the ceiling has made a huge difference in what that looks like in the inside of the camper it really just takes the 1986 out of the camper and gives it an all fresh look and it, i love that it's white fresh white makes a huge difference and then it just makes these accent colors that we're going to use in the camper that much better yeah Next time I tell you a camper needs to be all white inside, <laughs> remind me how boring it is to paint white paint. <laughs> but boy, it does look fresh. What a difference, right? Yeah. Wow. 
Now we can't paint the base that the mattress actually sits on until we get all of the walls totally painted and then anything done to the walls that we're going to do because we're gonna have to stand in here quite a bit so it just doesn't make sense to paint this white or whatever color it's going to end up being and then stand all over it over the next couple of days while we're working in here so right now we're using it basically as a floor and then we'll work on it after i don't want to paint my switch that we now know flicks the light on and off in here wait what are you doing okay so i know the half of you or more than half of you are going to be screaming at whatever device screen you're looking at while watching this video. No. But. Oh, but. I painted and designed the actual wood quilt that was going on the bathroom door. And the color of rust that I use for it is way too bright. And it's screaming like flag to me, not screaming the boho vibe that I was looking for. And I love the pattern that's on it, but the colors are not right. So I know that a lot of you are going to. Yeah, you know what's screaming? Oh. Not the door. Me and the YouTube family. We're screaming, no! Okay. Just trust me. At the end. When oh, the I've camper... heard this way too many times. <laughs> Just trust me. When the camper is all done, this will have been the better decision. I'm painting over the wood door. Oh, it's happening. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's the side of it. Okay. <laughs> just for the record philip does like the color of the door the kids like the color of the door but i know ultimately what the camper is going to look like all at the end so i need to figure this out <laughs> going to paint the outside all the way around with a brush but i'm going to roll <gasps> the top with white. No, there's no way you would. This is a prank. This is a joke. You're <laughs> pranking me again. I know that you would like to think that that's not good. even real white paint. It's fake. <laughs> the roller's fake. This is just a dream. Okay, no. It's happening. Oh my goodness. Once I do it, I can't go. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I'm doing very minimal paint so that you can still see all of the wood slat details. Honey, that's not minimal paint. You're <laughs> using a paint roller. Oh my goodness. Uh, I already like it so much better. Yeah, the you know what? You I, know I like color. It yes. is not about color. Yeah. Because I'm not afraid of color and I do love color. But yes. when I know what everything is going to be that's in the camper. It just doesn't work. It was too flag-like for what I wanted on the bathroom door. And I think that the white with the design is going to look a lot better. I honestly, when you told me that you were gonna paint it over, I didn't believe you. <laughs> you didn't think I had enough guts <laughs> No, to I didn't. I know how long it took to work on this. Okay. Uh, oh, it's so much better. I like your expressions. <laughs> expressions. It looks amazing, yeah, I like it white. Okay, so this was more what I was looking for wood quilt I really want it to be a focal point I want it to be detailed but it was a little too flag like for what I wanted now you still see the wood design right. and it's but it's just subtle and it's beautiful the problem was is that the rust color that I use sometimes once paint dries it's not exactly the color that you're envisioning and because I am obsessed with colors and how color tones look with other color tones the rust was looking way too orange and less of the bohemian style rust color that I was looking for. And so to change it and to make it go with everything else that I'm going to put in the camper, I had to roll this over and make it fresh white. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm going to roll just a tiny little bit more white paint just to make sure. You don't see any color. <laughs> <laughs> so much better. I, I promise in the end this will have been better. Okay. Trust me. I do trust you. Okay. I haven't failed you yet. I mean, Never. maybe except for the black wall on the dining room. Yeah, that was a huge fail. But I mean, the both of us thought that that was a good idea. Until you live with something like that, you don't ever know. No. But I do love the two-tone black on the trailer. 
Yes, that I love. That it's I not love. that I don't like black. It's just in the house, it just was a little bit too harsh on the whole wall. Yeah, it was too okay, harsh. Okay, so I'm going to go around with the paintbrush and do the whole outside. And then we're going to let this dry so I can flip it over and do the backside. Okay. I think today we should have enough time to do the backside. Well, I'm going to go cut the lawn. Okay. Because it's looking like a jungle. Looking like a jungle. So when you need me, come get me. Okay. He always waits to do the first cut of spring because he loves how it looks so fresh after and it means that winter is officially over when he gets to start cutting the grass. He's so funny and he likes the front yard to look perfectly cut all the time. So as soon as spring hits, he's out here cutting the grass all the time. <laughs> Okay, YouTube family, I need your help. About two years ago, I bought four of these little plants here for about $2 a piece on clearance at the end of the season. And I loved them because they were yellow and green, but I have no idea what they are. If they vine, if it's gonna be a bush or a shrub or a tree, I have no idea. I have three smaller ones, and then I have this one that's growing bigger than the other three. So let me know if you know what this is. Last season, our municipality had to come and dig up this whole front yard space and then go all the way down around the perimeter of the property to repair some storm drain. So we're really looking forward to the grass coming back now this year because we actually put a bunch of seed down and dirt. So we're hoping that all this will fill in like it used to be before they did the digging. Ah. Oh, there's a Diet Coke in the window. <laughs> Okay, funny story. I was cleaning up yesterday and I put my drink down and I couldn't find it and I must have set it in the window ledge inside and I just found it. <laughs> oh There's a Diet Coke in the window ledge inside. That's okay, cool. <laughs> so while I was cutting the grass, Elish and I both kept looking over at our spot on the front porch and this we, is the original think couch. That yeah, we're this is on. the original think couch where all the thinking takes place. <laughs> and we kind of inspired to just get at this right now, right away. We sit out here as soon as the warmer weather comes in the mornings and in the evenings when the kids go to bed. We sit out here, we brainstorm, we chat, we sit and have tea or apparently Diet Cokes we forget in the window <laughs> and just sit out here and enjoy our time. And also this is our pup's favorite spot to sit right where I'm sitting on this couch. And so we really want to screen in in this front porch section and it's going to be a huge undertaking, but it's something that we wanted to do Basically for the last five years, we keep saying, we need to, every time we get bit by a mosquito out here in the warmer weather, we're like, we really need to screen in this porch. So we are just going to do it. Yes. We've decided we're going to call our favorite McDonald's home hardware in the morning, place an order, get a few things we still need for the camper, and then get all the supplies we need to be able to screen in this porch. So here is what we're planning on doing. So this is a pretty exciting project because we have wanted to do this for so long. So we went online and we found this amazing door and we know exactly what color that we want to paint it. So I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're going to do yet. But Another we're going to show you secret? This amazing door that we found online. And it just so happens that it actually fits right in the space that we needed to. So we need a door that's 32 inches by, you know, your standard 80 inch door. And then we're going to be framing in all these areas here and framing them with screen so that we can actually put the screen blocks in and then actually plastic fill them in the winter time. So this could be an all season porch. And then we're going to create sections here where we have screened in areas that can go in and then latch in place. And then also can be the same thing for winter. We can put in the screen squares that way. Uh, they're plastic filled for winter time. That way we can sit out here our pup can come out here whenever he wants to from the front door here and sit in his favorite spot because we are a corner house here. He loves to sit here and just watch everything that's going on in the neighborhood. But in order for him to do that, we have to be sitting out here with him because we don't want him to wander. So if this is a door here and everything's blocked off, he has little legs and he won't be able to get over and we know he can enjoy his favorite spot out here. And then we can enjoy our time out here without getting bitten by mosquitoes. And then what we'll do is we'll paint all of the framework and everything that we're going to do here all white to match the house. Everything will get power washed and freshly painted. And then we're going to replace what we're going to have on the flooring in here, furniture in here, and make this sort of like an indoor room, greenhouse seating area right off of our living room in front entryway right here. And the door we picked that will go here is going to give us 
the curb appeal that we're looking for to give us a front door entry because we have three front doors on our house. We have the art room door, mudroom door, and then the porch door. So no one really knows what door to come to when they come here. So I think this is really going to give it that like focal point front entryway. We'll do some gardening and stuff here. I think it's going to be amazing. So we're going to do our measurements right now, get everything. We kind of started putting together a list of measurements and things that we need. And we're going to place an order for this first thing in the morning. So we're pretty excited about this. I'm super excited. Yeah. And it just took me doing the lawn and cutting <laughs> the lawn and us being out front going, it's okay, time. We're gonna do it. Let's so, do it. We are going to get to this project before we start doing some of our backyard projects we want to get this done because we are looking to sit out here in the mornings and it's just so much nicer when it's all screened in we have a little bit of privacy we can sit out here with the pup and it's going to be so nice and the boys also love hanging out out here they do all kinds of things out on the front porch so yeah. exciting i think it looks so much better i know that i love color and a lot of you are probably like she's gone mad but i really think it's a lot better a little bit neutral and I think that you can still see all of the pattern and all of the woodworking that I did to get this to be a wood quilt. I think it looks so much better with just like the pops of color and everything. It doesn't take away from the other details that we're adding and going to be adding into the camper. I know that the color looked okay, but it just really wasn't what I envisioned. So I'm really happy just to have it completely white. I think that when we get all the hardware on and we get, you know, like the knob and everything, we get everything else in the camper. It's going to be so much better this way. So just trust me. I, I see it. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous on camera and it's gorgeous it. in person. I really think it's going to really go with everything that we want to have in the camper. I still need to maybe do one more rolled coat of paint on it just so that it's actually like totally covered. But I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I'm happy that I did it, that I did do it putting that first roll of white paint on, I was like, okay, I just held my breath and did it, but it's going to look so much better. And if I look at the other details that we've put in the camper, like this custom stenciled wall here and details that I'm going to put on the L shaped bench in the bedroom and in the bathroom, I promise that the white is the best decision. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go with the white and hopefully everything at the end kind of comes together another beautiful day out and we got so much done and i know a lot of what we did today was just rolling white paint so there wasn't so much video on the rolling white paint except for the door which i didn't really know elish was actually gonna do <laughs> Did you Which, think I was pranking you? <laughs> I think I thought at first it was a prank because I don't mind the colors. Although I don't see the colors, I didn't mind. I thought the design was beautiful. But the outcome of just the white is so much better. It's absolutely gorgeous. And when it's hanging up in the camper, it, it's going to look perfect. And it, all the other colors, we didn't want the bathroom door to pop over everything else in the camper. No. So when all the other colors are in the camper, it's just gonna be that subtle, beautiful boho look that we originally wanted. I think the overall feel is a lot calmer. The overall feel yeah. for sure is not screaming we just, out at you. We just walked in it again and I was like, oh, hands down, best decision yet. Yeah. Like it was so much calmer going into the space for sure. And getting all of the measurements and all of what we need for doing the front porch I'm so excited to get that done and just doing the lawn this morning inspired us <laughs> to do it. We were like, that's it. We're doing it. There's no question about it. <laughs> and we actually found a gorgeous door that we want to use for the front. As soon as we saw it, Philip we was both like, that's like, the door. We both were like, that's the that's door. That's it. We got And the do color it. that Elisha is going to choose is, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> It's going to look gorgeous and we have an all white house and we want to change the shutters and we're doing a whole bunch of other exterior projects. So this is going to tie everything in and give us that curb appeal that we're looking for. And we're excited to finally get to some outside projects. We're working in the camper. We have a lot more to do and these are just going to give us a little bit of stuff to work on on the days when we want to take just a few minutes off outside of the camper yeah. and work on some projects around the house that we can't work on, you know, half of the year here where we live. So it's going to be really nice for us to get to some of these projects. We're super excited. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think of the porch renovation idea. Um, inspirations for bedroom and bathroom space. We're always up for listening to your suggestions on what colors and things. That bedroom space is not going to necessarily be white and the bathroom's definitely not going to all be white. So yeah. we need your inspirations on what colors you think we should use. And then um, also, um, 
what else did we do today? <laughs> I was literally like, what day? <laughs> what day is it? All day. So I, I didn't even manage to get all of the wallpaper off because oh, I was yeah. like, I got halfway through and I'm like, I'm going to go cut the grass because that's so much funner. <laughs> so <laughs> It's really hard when you're at the monotonous parts of just like rolling white paint, peeling more wa wallpaper and prepping more spaces to get done. But we have a lot more stuff to do. We all have a cold front coming through. So we know we're going to be working on interior projects on the camper. And we also want to get the outside of the camper finished painting, but we need to wait for our next few days of warmth to be able to finish up that. So we have a lot of work still to do on the camper. Like I can't even say we're half done, which is kind of funny. We've been working on this for over a month now, but we still have so much to do. So yeah. thank you for being part of our journey on our extreme camper makeover. We're having a blast doing this and we're so happy that you guys are enjoying it just as much as we are. And the daily uploads I think are lifting everyone's spirits, not only your guys, but also ours. So thank yes. you guys so much for being part of our journey so we love you we love you and we will see you on tomorrow's video bye, bye.